Gone is the remote Far East village of Titipu in Gilbert and Sullivan's The Mikado, a political satire premiering at the Savoy Theatre in London on March 14, 1885. It's been reimagined for today's audience by the Bronx Opera Company here at the Burroughs Lovinger Theatre with scenes familiar to us and characters active in today's socio-political world. The locale of Mikado used to be in Japan but we've changed it, as you can very well see, to Washington, D.C. And when you change it to Washington, D.C. at the present, you need to, of course, uh, incorporate things like tweets and uh, Michigan water. A lot of the roles that you jump into in opera are much more dramatic and much more like somebody's dying on stage usually. And this one is just, it's a lot of fun. She's the love interest, um, except she's very sassy. And some people play her kind of, oh, dumb and whatnot. And no, she knows exactly what she wants. Elizabeth Slayton, who plays the character Yum Yum in the comedic opera, is betrothed to Coco, the town's executioner, but is actually in love with Nanki Poo, played by Andrew Klima, the son of the powerful Mikado, who fled the royal court because his father promised him in marriage to Katisha, played by Julia Snowden. <laughs> Playing the role of Yum Yum Sisters is Peepo here along with Pity Singh, played by Erin Mull, who says it's her third time in this role, calling this current production a welcome challenge to her as an artist. It's a modern day interpretation and honestly getting into that for me was um, quite the challenge because I have the, I've done it twice in a classical interpretation where it was set in Japan. And so the character's physicality is completely different for this, the way that I am, um, saying my lines and the way that I'm interacting with the characters is completely different. With some of the references taken directly out of the headlines, musical director Michael Spearman, celebrating the opera's 52nd season, says it's meant as an opportunity to see a lighter side. There are some upcoming performances you should know about. On June 2nd, the Bronx Orchestra will be right here at the Lovinger Theater, and on the 21st, they'll be at the Riverdale Y. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.